Watching EVH Gear TV, brought to you by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones, and official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. Now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH Gear artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, happy Thursday evening to you all, 7.30 I think, 7.33 Eastern Standard Time. I hope you're all well. Uh, show coming up tomorrow night and doubleheader weekend. So Friday, a regular slot, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, we're back. And followed by a special Sunday afternoon show, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I thought I'd go over that, a few things to address with you tonight. I'm uh, going to talk about, um, uh, first of all, it's going to be a product unboxing. And I'm going to have a look at that. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, a contest coming up as well, too. Giveaway, whatever you want to call it. It's more of a giveaway than a contest, I guess. It's prizes. I, I, however you want to call it, a contest, giveaway, free stuff. It's a, it's a giveaway. So we'll talk about that. Talk about the show. Um, talk about a new show I'm introducing onto the channel here. And a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So first and foremost, it's just very, very nice to have everybody here. And I hope the levels are good and everything's looking okay. I'm going to jump over and say hi to everyone. Oh, it's cool. Got a few people that haven't been in for a while. So kicking off the top of the hop of the live chat. As a matter of fact, why don't we jump over there for a second. Let's go over to that screen for a second. There we go. We have got my beautiful better half, Poison Ivy. Uh, saying happy Thursday to you all. Spence uh, is here dig digging the elevator music. I got some new intro music at the very beginning, uh, kind of uh, while we uh, get everything all lined up and making some show notes and stuff like that. And I dig that as well, too. Excuse me. Uh, Chris is here saying hello, everyone. Uh, Thomas Santiago is here saying, hey, Eric, David Ennis. Hey, Eric and Poison Ivy. Uh, uh, Zhang Xu, when does it start? It starts right now. Sorry for the, uh, uh, if you're, unless you're talking about the contest or you're talking about the show, we're starting right now. We're live. What you're seeing right now is live with a very slight delay. Um, Don Shepard is here saying, hey, Eric and all. Spencer, whoa, I haven't been here in a while. Your hair is different. Yeah, my hair is growing. I'm growing my hair out. Yes, um, I'm, I'm growing my hair out. So let's, we'll see how that goes. I can push out hair pretty quick, so I can put out a mustache in an after on a Sunday afternoon. So, uh, let me see here. Uh, Z Zabas is back. Says I. Rich Antonelli is here, and he's actually one of the fellows I'm going to be mentioning in a moment as well too. 
And my uh, rock and little uh, better, uh, my little man, Bane Rocks, says, hey, Dad. And actually, it's pretty cool. He was upstairs jamming, genting on the Line 6 very axe a little while ago. That was great. He asked me if I could bring it up and hook it up. He's playing on his boss katana up there, and he's genting away on some uh, um, slipknot down in drop A tuning on the, uh, the very axe, which is very, very cool. Uh, Frank Rashad is here. Frank, how you doing, man? Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Uh, Rob Ashby, my good friend locally here, is here saying, hey, Eric, how you doing, bro? Um, and uh, let me see, Ralph um, Niederlander Jr. is here saying greetings, and Bame Rocks is uh, talking to mom there for a bit. So several things we're going to address. First thing we're going to address is uh, we're going to do an unboxing, okay? Again, I'm going to talk a little bit about the show coming up, the two shows this weekend. It's a doubleheader weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then we're going to talk about the contest giveaway, all that kind of stuff. And if I can remember and still work everything in here, cause I, all, all I did was make some notes for some companies here to remember to talk about the next segment I'm introducing on the show here as well, too. It's almost like, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. Sometimes I, I create all these things and then I come up with all these ideas and I'm like, okay, now I have to execute these ideas. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes it's, it looks easier on paper than what it actually is, but you know what? Uh, a poison ivy will tell you I come up with a, a lot of ideas sometimes I'll never act on them and there's been some good ideas that have just fallen by the wayside and um, you know so now it's to, when I come up with an idea I'm going to start acting on it so I'm just going to try to put a little note here where I left off so I left off at Bain Rocks um, actually you know what before I do that I'm going to uh, I'll answer a question here before I start as Bass is back says would you recommend the Wolfgang Standard I would highly recommend the Wolfgang Standard you can actually see one just barely whatever right there that purple guy right there that's one of the transparent per transparent finishes that they have. They got a couple new ones that they brought out at NAMM, uh, but they also have two other transparent ones, blue and that one. And uh, I recommend them highly. They're a slightly, just a slightly better grade uh, uh, guitar than the uh, the regular standards. Not by much, but a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, it's a nice top on it. And I would also recommend spending a couple dollars on some uh, FU Tone upgrades on those and i'd be more than happy to to walk you through some of those upgrades as well too contact me through the facebook page at facebook.com slash evh care tv and i'd be happy to answer any of those upgrade questions but yes i would highly recommend that um i will jump over and say hi to everybody here and uh, throughout the uh the chat here as well too so we're going to start uh first things first we're going to grab and we're going to jump into an unboxing now i will have to toggle another camera and i will probably just move this microphone out of the way so you may or may not hear me at times just for the sole fact that this is a dynamic microphone it's not a condenser so you won't hear me if i step aside in the microphone like that okay give it a quick sip all right let's actually toggle the other camera all right there we go hello hello we're good all right so we've got a bunch of stuff here got a bunch of different boxes kicking around here but this is the first one and this one is heavy. It's very heavy. It's very heavy. All right. It's going to be a very simple unboxing. I've already opened the box to see what's inside it to make sure everything was cosmetically okay. And that's as far as I got was just the first step here. Got to be careful I don't hit my mixer. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn my back to the camera for a second. hope you don't mind just so I don't uh, hit my mixer and mute a channel or crank it and blast you guys. have it can you see that camera up here we have the line six heel explore and this thing is very very heavy it's heavy all right so let's get this thing out of here all right carefully put this down i am one of these guys who likes to treasure product boxes i'm not a hoarder except when it comes to music gear boxes you should see the racks above me it looks like it's a road, a road in line six and EVH uh, warehouse. Okay, so I want to very try to very carefully open this up here. So those those of you that are regulars here on the channel, you've seen me playing for a lot lately since Christmas or a little bit before Christmas, kind of obsessively on the Helix products. And to be honest with you. I've said this, and I'm not saying this is not a sales pitch. This is gospel, as far as I'm concerned. It's the best thing that's ever happened to my guitar playing, the best thing that's ever happened to my sound, um, and just for my inspiration. So it's been a real blessing to me. I have the Helix rack back there, which can you see it? You can barely see it where my finger is right there because the camera's in the way. And I have the control, the uh, control down below. But this is going to allow when I want to go out and do some remote things, and uh, and also too for the boy for jamming as well here too. We're going to run both of them into the mixer and the fact that the compression pedal 
going to love that because I don't have an expression pedal on the other one. There's just so many benefits to this as well, of having this one and the rack. All right, so packed inside the box. Everything is well packed. Can you see that? You can. Actually, that's good. The camera, you can see it. They're good. So you have the AC power cable. Um, just software license agreement, typical things like that as well. I'll leave that up to the side. This is quite cool. Came with the rack as well, too. A little um, USB uh, jump drive. Show that camera there. And that, in most cases, has, uh, I think the other one had strictly all the product manuals in different languages and stuff like that as well, too. So very handy to have. A little twist out. I can show you one that's open. I have one right here. Where is it? Just so you can see what they look like open. This is the one that comes with the rack. Where's the camera? Like that. Just a you know simple flash drive and your manual's on there. If you don't want to save it to your computer, you've always got it on a jump drive. I don't know what this is. This is probably a USB cable by the looks of it. I'm judging. I'm thinking so. That's how bad my vision is. It's got to be a USB cable, right? Yep, USB cable for it. So that's USB cable. I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave that out. Okay. So heavy duty foam here. So I'm gonna carefully take it out. Didn't knock off my other computer monitor. That's all good. Okay, I'm gonna put the box down as much as I can. Very hard to lift something that's like 20 pounds one hand one handed. All right, we're getting there. And I know Bane Rocks Jr. upstairs right now is going absolutely crazy because he is dying to play this thing. And I told him he is going to be the first person to play it. As much as I want to just jump on this thing right now, I'm going to let him pop on here and do some Rage Against the Machine whammy stuff. I'm telling you, the kid's a genius when it comes to music. He's inspiring me. Hope everyone's doing well. All right, so what's it say important? Usually when something says important, I always read that last. Uh-oh, it says, by breaking the seal, you are agreeing by the terms and end user license. Uh-oh, what am I agreeing to, Frank? I don't know. If you do not agree to this terms, I better put the sticker back on if I don't agree to the terms. No, it's okay. I'm going to trust. I'm, I might be selling my channel to line six or something by, by removing the seal. I don't know, but I just accepted whatever the terms are. So there we go. Look at this, would you, man? This is awesome, man. This is awesome. A lot of you guys have this. A lot of you guys have the uh, the Helix floor. So it's pretty much the exact same thing I have in the rack up there. The LCD, the LCD screen, all the uh, channels, the scribble strips, everything on here as well too, but all encompassed in one unit. And of course, the expression pedal, volume, pitch, modulation, anything you want to assign to that is, uh, is built right into it. Wah pedal, volume, all that good stuff. And all your ins and outs on the back. This thing has got so many... Uh, ins and outs that you can run effects loops you can do four cable method like so you can run you know dirty effects and other effects to the front of your amplifier if you're running a, a tube amplifier stuff to the back of the amplifier through the two uh through the loop all that kind of stuff you can uh, channels change other amplifiers with extension amp uh, outs and everything like that as well too run microphones in balanced out all the goodies that you could potentially ever want and more which you probably never even use all of these variax input which is going to be great I'm um, looking forward to hooking up the Variax to this. Now I got the Variax cable today as well, too, from uh, from line six. This is going to be great, and it's going to be put to use immediately. You're immediately off the air tonight. Junior is going to be hopping on here. So first things, looking at this thing, what I always like to look at when it comes to pedals or any type of, a, like, okay, this isn't a pedal, but same idea, knobs and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of knobs in here, obviously, right? Multiple, lot, some of them are touch stick. You'll actually touch them to joggle through, uh, toggle through different things. This one's actually like a joystick. So the first thing I like to always do is look at the at the knobs, make sure everything is secure, solid, and there's nothing loose on here. Like very, very, very solid. Nothing different than the rack unit here again, too. It's pretty much almost the same components. The chassis, I'm guessing somewhere around, I'm going to say probably around 20 pounds. The UPS package that came in today, it, it was labeled at 22 pounds. So you know, add a little tiny bit of weight for some packaging, but that it's solid as all heck. This is something that you, um, uh, let me see, let me, one second. Let me just jump over here for one quick second. Let's go back to the other screen for a quick second. Okay, there we go. That, you can see more on the screen this way. Um, so where was I with this? Oh yeah, so anyways, the knobs are all very, very, very extremely solid. And that's the first thing I always like to check. I just like to check to make sure everything is 100% solid. Peel off all the plastic and things like that as well, too.
There we go. Get rid of all that stuff. Well, yeah, but we're talking about the weight. So this is something like, you know, some, some of these processors that I've had over the years before too, I won't mention any names, but you know, a lot of them, they're smaller and uh, they're very lightweight and you could actually kick them, you know, and you'd, you could actually send it off a stage. If you're sitting on a small stage, if you weren't careful, you could actually kick the thing and knock it off, have some damage, pull out your cables or whatever. This thing, you stub your toe on this, unless you're wearing some good shoes, you may actually break a toe. So be very careful. That's, but it's not going anywhere. That's what's what I love about it. Solid rubber feet on the bottom too to get a you know a couple of millimeters off the stage, which is great. So fantastic. All right, so this is going to be used here in the studio as early as the minute I say thank you, good night, everyone. It's going to be fired up. I'm going to carefully put it down. We're going to start talking about some other cool stuff as well too. So this is this is awesome. Very very excited. And actually, I'll do a demo on this one as well too. Not that it's going to be anything different than what you've seen me do with the rack, but I'm going to show it. I'll get it up here on the desk as well, and I'll show you some uh, little tricks and tips. And that'll be something else that will work into the show that's coming up in the very near future with the Helix Hour. And I'll tell you about that as well, too. So this is fan absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can move this out of the way a little bit. So a couple, you know, a couple points. Build quality, absolutely flawless. Weight, oh, heavy is good. I like that. I'm really, really sold on the weight of it. Not too heavy, not too light. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. And cosmetically, looking at it, appearance, it's just badass. That's two words. Badass. I hope that's okay to say. Um, I'm saying it anyways. There we go. Move that out of the way. Put this in the big box. Okay, excuse me. Let's come back over to the chat for a second. And one second. Let me see here. Just messaging here my assistant here. Okay. Let's go back here again. See where we left off. So I left off somewhere around the Wolfgang uh, question. Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, so EVH Leopard is here. Eric Haubauer is here. Uh, Thomas Santiago is here saying hi, Poison Ivy. Hope all is well. And this works out really well too. I get to have Poison Ivy, um, uh, join the, the chat as well too. She, if I do a show when my regular shows are at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, she can't participate because she's resting at that hour and actually asleep by that hour. So this is nice where she gets to, uh, to pop in as well too. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Rob Ashby says, hey, Junior and Poison. Scott Roos here. Hello from Nova Scotia. Nice, over on our East Coast. How are you doing out there with uh, weather and flooding? Are you okay? A lot of parts in our south southwestern part of Ontario here are in extreme flood conditions. Uh, the city where we used to live is kind of kind of heavily flooded. Not as bad as some of our slightly uh, eastern, I guess I'd say, northeastern cities in the, in the surrounding areas. They're really, really bad. Our area where we are, we're on a much higher plateau, so there's uh, we're okay for now, which is great. I mean, there's, I don't think there's any chance unless, uh, if it put, it, put it this way, if our area floods, we'll be on an arc. So uh, we'll be building that arc and getting ready for that if, if the water comes through that that much. I hope you're doing okay out there in Nova Scotia. Uh, Tony Dustin says, hello again from uh, Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, Spence says, do you plan on getting the EL34 micro stack, and do you think it'll sound any different than the regular micro? Yeah, I am going to grab one of those to throw up on the shelf. You probably you can barely see my little one right there, right to the, the right of the Helix, or might be, the, yeah, the right of the Helix. I might have to move one of the mini guitars there. But yeah, I do want to get the uh, the EL34 just to stick it up there for decoration. I honestly don't use them. And, uh, you know, they're not really meant to, well, I shouldn't say they're not meant to be used. They are a novelty amplifier that works. They're a nice decorative amplifier that I think is cool to have. Uh, you know, when your buddies come over and you can say, you know, you look at look at my little EVH and, you know, you got the big ones. It's nice to have the little ones as well, too. Uh, tone wise, I would only use them if I'm maybe like at a, at a backyard function around a fire or something like that. And you want to bring an electric out um, and play through it a little bit. And uh, I was not really focused on tone. You can get tone out of them, though. I ran a distortion pedal into one and it wasn't too bad. But, yeah, I'm going to get one of those just for decoration for sure. Um, where was that one? That was Spence. Uh, Tone Wars. Yay, yay, yay. He says, I'm editing an episode uh, while I watch. Awesome. I can't wait to see more of your stuff, man, for sure. And I know you'll post it, so we'll get I'll get a chance to see that. Uh, and I'm subscribed as well, too. That's another thing, too. I'll, I'll kind of I'm going inter to interrupt myself a lot as I go through the show here. Um, subscribe. It's really, really important for two reasons. One, there's going to be a contest giveaway coming up, and you're definitely going to want to be notified when that comes up. It's going to be very, very soon, and I'm not going to announce when I'm doing it. It's just gonna, It could be any time when I do it. So you want those notifications, and the only way to get those is to subscribe, click on that bell, and it'll say enable all notifications. It's just very, very handy, and even when I'm not giving away stuff, 
there's really, really good guests on the show. And you have the potential to ask some questions. Some of them could be your heroes growing up. Some of them could be new artists you've never discovered. And what better way to, uh, to ask them a question that you might not get a chance to by simply subscribing, clicking on post notifications, and you say, hey, here's a question for you. So do that. It's really, really important. Um, and there's a lot of people that actually haven't, there's a lot of people that watch the show. I look at the analytics and I see there's uh, some people that are subscribed and I have a bulk of a lot of people that actually watch the show, like great uh, watch time, but aren't subscribers. So I think a lot of people, I had a friend the other night that actually didn't even realize he wasn't subscribed and he was actually very, very close to being the 5150th subscriber. Actually, maybe it might've been 5150. Um, and he didn't even realize he wasn't subscribed. He felt really bad about it. So there's probably some people that are watching that I think they're subscribed or not. Double check. You may not be. So I'd appreciate it if you, if you do. Uh, and down below as well, too. This really helps me as well, too. You, you know, it's been a, it's been a, a fast and a slow climb uh, to where the show numbers are today. Um, it's every day. You just, you know, I do the same thing every day. I put my heart and soul into it. But you guys can help a little bit as well, too. Down below, right below the description, there's a share button. And I, I know a lot of you know this. Some people don't know it. Click on share. And then you can share it off to Facebook. You can send it off to Twitter. You can send it to an email to a friend, whatever. You know, if you're on some of those platforms, if you know, if you take a couple seconds out of your time and just sit, click share, and you know, hey, I'm supporting uh, EVH Care TV. I'm sending it off to my friends on Facebook or Twitter or blah blah blah, whatever it may be. Every little bit really, really helps. You know, the old you know cliche: tell two friends and so on and so on and so on. It snowballs very quickly, and eventually a lot of people get to know what's going on over here. And a lot of times it can be very, uh, very informative. I'm not always the one bringing you the knowledge. In most cases, I'm not the one bringing you the knowledge. I'm just facilitating guests that come on the show that bring knowledge. So, you know, we all win, right, by sh sharing a little bit. Uh, let me see here. Um, Kai Down. Um, <laughs> I love this. Kai Down says, hey, man, you're going to be picking up an EVH-inspired uh, Helix skin from Chad. Uh, and you know what? I'm not going to do an EVH one, but I'm going to talk to Chad about one. I'm going I'm to buy one from him. And most people right off the get-go thinking I'm going to do uh, a Van Halen-themed uh, skin. Now, first of all, I wasn't sure was I going to do. I want to do a skin, and if you don't, if people don't know what that is, um, it's a, like it's a vinyl product that um, Chad sells. Now, guys in the chat, correct me if I'm wrong, and I always get this wrong, and I didn't get a chance to put the link. It is at l6gear.com, if that's correct. Um, I'm almost positive it is. I don't have time to go check it, but I think it's l6gear.com. And you guys can comment in the chat or mention it, whatever, if I'm correct on that. But Chad sells those, and there's various prices. He has some uh, default ones you can pick from, and then for a certain price, and that's for the Helix. That's for uh, the Helix Floor, the Helix LT, the HX FX, and I think he's even doing it for other brands as well, too. But you submit the artwork or you buy the, the defaulted artwork, and it's vinyl decals, decals, uh, however you want to say it. And they uh, stick onto the, your Helix products, so you can customize them to your like. You can make them look like, you know, a titanium. You know, your favorite family photo or sunset scenes or military or Call of Duty stuff, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, and it, you can customize it. And the cool thing is, and Frank will tell you here from Line Six if he's still in the chat, it does not avoid the warranty. So first and foremost, it does not void your warranty. And Chad will have videos on his website, um, which I believe was l6gear.com. And I haven't scrolled enough in the chat. Someone's probably already answered that question. Um, he'll have videos, uh, tutorials telling you how to apply them. And I think it's a, a several-step process where there's a couple pieces, two or three, maybe more pieces of the vinyl that you'll put on in stages. So uh, I don't think it's going to be rocket science to do it. But very long answer to your question. Um I, I am going to get a, um, a skin from him, but I don't think I'm going to do Van Halen because everyone's expecting me to do that. I was actually joking with him, and I said, uh, how about a big, giant YouTube play button? Yeah, that would probably be the, the faster way for me to get a play button. And for those of you who don't know what that is, when you get to so many subscribers on YouTube, they give you a play button, 100,000 and you know, uh, you know, know, uh, a million, things like that. And it's going to be a long time before I get a play button, so why not buy a sticker of one and stick it on the on the Helix? So I might do that. Uh, let me see here. So that was from Kai. Uh, Don Shepard says, I want that. Y yes, it is something you d you definitely want. Um, it's, it's, it's an investment. It is an investment for sure. Um, however, it's something that here's someone in the groups the other day in the line six Helix groups that, um, that Chad runs, someone made a mention and I wish I could say who the fellow was. It might've been one of the people in the chat and I forget, but someone had said, you know, where can you buy something like this? And it's almost like, remember remember Columbia House, the record clubs back in the day, you, you pay so much, whatever, and you get all these free CDs and, or free records or tapes, whatever it may be in the day. Well, you buy this product, 
And every couple months when they release new software and firmware, in other words, firmware or software, there's all these new free things, all these new pedals. So it's like you're buying this product and it is an investment, like I mentioned, and you're getting all these new amplifiers, all these effects, all these other things. And someone in the group had asked, like, how, has anyone ever, like, you know, been really bored and figured out all these amps that come inside the Helix and the effects? Uh, what does it be worth? So somebody <laughs> made a spreadsheet and like some of the amplifiers are fictitious amplifiers or the ones made by Line 6 themselves and other ones are replicas of the, of the you know, like a, a Mesa or a PV or, a, um, you know, all those kind of different amplifiers, right? Um, so they you do an average and then they go through all the pedals. It was like tens of th hundreds of thousands of dollars. It was just ridiculous number. And I'd commented down and down below too. And I said, think of the money you save in a divorce as well too. You know, some, some people, you know, they, they spend a little bit of extra money. They don't tell the spouse like, okay, honey, where, where, do, where does $2,000 come on my credit card or whatever. Right. So, uh, it's, it's a good investment. It, it seriously is. And like, I'm going to move my microphone kind of bring up a little bit here too. Um, I was joking too the other day saying that I don't turn on the tube amps that much anymore. I, I uh, go back and everything. I turn them on to make sure the, there's power and then uh, I'll fire them up once in a while. But it's it's not, these things are not meant to replace your, your tube amplifiers. They work very, very nice with them or your saltate amplifiers or just another tool in your toolkit. But if it's anything like what it's done for me as far as inspiration and uh, just, just good feeling about music once again, then th th there's no price you can put on that for sure. Uh, Constance is here saying hi. Uh, Spencer says Helix uh, only... Um, truly good line six product line i i would i disagree on uh, the only true there's there's some products that i've had in the past um i've only had a few i had the pod i had uh what else did i have uh the the two different versions of the pod and i haven't gotten much into the amplifiers i'm going to be on 100 honestly with the amplifiers i've i plugged into one in the music store and that was it i haven't played through any of the amplifiers but um i have no real desire to because i'm so sold with the tone I get right now. My, my happy place right now is Helix, Helix rack into my mixer. And if I really feel creative, and then headphones, of course, and, and I'm running in stereo. And if I really feel creative, I've got, um, I think right now I've got the lunchbox so number two, where my finger is right there, the EVH lunchbox two hooked up um, through the direct out of the Helix. And that goes into the input of the amplifier. So there's no processing going to the amplifier. There's nothing in the loop. And I have that mic'd with two 412 or on the four back. You can see where my fingers are pointing there. I've got two Rode NT1s uh, miking that amplifier, mic'd left, uh, panned left and right. And that runs the mixer as well, too. So I've got a nice wet left and right, um, nice luscious stereo sound from the Helix. And then I bring in as I need, as desired, a mono, well, kind of a fake stereo signal up um, uh, the, sig the center. Um, and it's dry, dr just dr all tube amps. So you blend as much tube as you want or, uh, or as little as you want, vice versa. And you can do that with the, the wet signal as well too. Uh, let me see. What else have I missed here? Zach is here. Zach Song says, um, uh, what's up, Eric? That was a cool, uh, that was a cool guitar acoustic. Uh, very cool. Um, let me see. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Let's, I'm scrolling a little too fast. Uh, Dak Tars here says, got in late, uh, but hey, uh, Eric, Ivy and Junior. Um, let me see here. Uh, Gas and Bullets says important. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I think that was the sticker. I'm obviously, you can see how far behind I am here. Uh, Rich Antonelli says the floor is the way to go. That's what you have. Is that correct, Rich? Um, and just got done updating mine. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, and Rob Ashby says, I'm jealous. Wish I could afford one. Rob, come on over here. Anytime you want to play this thing, man, um, you'll you'll love it. And in fact, now we can we can both jam together. You can hop on one and I'll hop on the other. And just this afternoon, I knew this was coming. So I backed up all my presets, exported them all from the rack. And I brought them into also into native and I help, which is a software for your, uh, your recording interface or your software, I should say. And I've got them ready to throw onto the, uh, the floor as well too. So very, very cool. So yeah, you're uh, very welcome to come over anytime you want, buddy. And anybody else who wants to come over here and uh, drive up to Canada and come and hang out and uh, do some jamming, you're welcome to just, you might have to book an appointment by the sounds of it. Mark Taylor's here saying, hey, everybody. Um, uh, Guess what? It says more electronics than I will ever afford. Never say never. Uh, Steve Segura says, looks fun. Uh, Miranda Becker says, this is J uh, Jamie's girlfriend. He's working on his rig uh, for this weekend, but wanted to tune in. Tell him thank you as well. And thank you for tuning in. Um, he's been a great help to me, uh, J Jamie. 
he comes in here as the law. That's his handle. Um, he's actually one of the moderators on the channel as well, too. He's a, he's a really good dude. So tell him I said hi. He's probably, if he can hear it, whatever, uh, tell him I said hi for sure. Chris Ferreira is here. Uh, Bruce is here. Mr. BHB Jr. says hello, uh, Eric and EVH Care TV. Uh, Don Shepard is uh, saying, hey, let me see. Um, <laughs> Gaz Bullet says joysticks, buttons, switches, oh my. Yeah, it kind of gives us a feeling of playing old Atari arcade games, and, and you got some music to go along with it as well, too. Um, let me see who have I missed here as well. Uh, scrolling down. Hang on. I'm, I'm bad at this. I need, I need a chat reader. I'm going to get, I'm going to get like a voice to text or whatever. To, uh, and I, I will, uh, <laughs> have the chat read. Let me see here. Um, I'm sorry. here. I, I scrolled a little too fast and then it jumps. Uh, Rob Ashby been working two weeks straight without a break. How's your week? And, uh, you're a hard worker, Rob. Keep at it, man. Um, I didn't hear what brand was that. Um, okay. I'm not, uh, the, uh, if you're talking about the product here, uh, the line six, un unless I missed something here, sorry. Uh, Tavares project is here saying, I'm so jealous. Uh, Helix line six. So yeah, Don Shepard answered it. So yeah, I guess he was asking what brand it was. Uh, and Mike Francis says, looking forward to the lineup for the weekend, Rich Antonelli and Mrs. Smith. So why don't we do that? Why don't we pause right there? Cause Mike brought it up. Uh, thank you, Mike. So tomorrow night, this is, this is going to be a fun one tomorrow. Um, I had to, uh, Really, really, uh, I, okay, I usually put a week into every show. Uh, Pre-prep for every show is what I do spend the entire week on the pre-preparation uh, for it. And then that show's over. I get up in the morning, get a coffee, and I basically start the next morning preparing for next week's show guest, making, you know, everything flow, good questions, uh, you know, anything, that, any particular requirements that they may have, if there's any graphics or promotion things. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Just booking the guests alone is pretty much a full-time job, a full-time job that doesn't pay. So it's a nice volunteer gig if you want to look at it like that. So this week, it's a doubleheader. Uh, Mrs. Smith uh, taking the world by storm, the world's most unlikeliest guitar hero. She just happens to be a little old lady. Um, and uh, it's, it's a character, it's, uh, quite the character. Um, talking to her last night for probably about a better part of an hour and a half and uh, we have a little little rapport going on right now, and uh, um, she's uh, she's a, quite the diva for sure. But she can also kick most of our butts seven ways from Sunday on guitar. Absolutely crazy. I'll show you a little shot of her right now. Let me see here. I have this lined up for tomorrow. There she is, right there. With I'm sure you know the fellow to her uh, on the right hand side of the screen, Mr. Steve Vai. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll get a. <laughs> she's absolutely amazing, and she can play. Like no tomorrow. So there's tomorrow is going to be a bit of a comedy routine, uh, without being you know, uh, you know I'm not going to have canned laughter and laugh tracks and things like that. But it's going to be a funny episode tomorrow, and I really honestly, I uh, think that tomorrow could possibly you know you'd be laughing so hard uh, going into the weekend that uh, you know you'll have sore sides. That'll be a, that'll be great if we can do that. But there will be some serious conversation as well too. We're going to be there's a lot of Van Halen discussion. And, um, you know, if you want to look around and get, a, you know, uh, a little bit of a, an update and background on Mrs. Smith, just look her up. I think it's Smith Cat Mrs. on Facebook and most of her social media. S-M-I-T-H, it's Cat, and then M-R-S. Um, and you can find her, and I'll have all the links tomorrow in the description as well, too. Or just go on the Facebook. We've been talking back and forth on the EVH Gear page, and that and there's an event there as well, too. That's a good thing. Do me a favor. Go on to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash EVH Gear TV, and look at events, and you'll see it's uh, she's created the event, and um, we've shared it here on our platform. But just RSVP. Just click on there and say, yeah, I'm going to attend this, and, and it'll give you a reminder as well, too. It'll say you got a show to attend, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fun, but still have our Van Halen content that we're used to here on the show, um, and just it's it's going to be a feel-good night. I feel it's, so it's, I really look forward to that one. And then Sun, I'm going to take, obviously, take Saturday off. I probably could have had Rich on Saturday or Sunday. Um, or I have him Sunday. It's nice to just have a little break in between so I can, you know, fully rebound and get ready for the next show and uh, and p potentially sleep in maybe for an extra hour or something on Saturday, which is usually unheard of, but I may do it. Rich is coming on on uh, 2 p.m. on Sunday. So 2 p.m. works really, really nice for people in multiple time zones. People over in Europe and that can actually still, uh, it's not crazy hours for them. A lot of the audience that tunes in is usually somewhere around six hours ahead of us in our time zone. So that's, you know, still very early into the evening. Uh, Rich, we're going to talk about his uh, tribute band that he's in, the Bon Jovi tribute band. We're going to talk about his podcast he runs, which is very, very good. He did a great episode today. 
was talking about Nam, talking about Line 6, and uh, also mentioned his appearance on the show. It's called the Rocker Dad Podcast, and I will have links for you tomorrow for that. You can find it as well uh, very easily by searching, but I will provide links to all these entities uh, tomorrow and throughout the weekend. So that's going to be great. Um, he was able to go down to NAM and meet some really cool people this uh, this past January here. Obviously hung out with uh, our friends at Line 6 and then met a whole whack of celebrities, everybody from like Phil X to, uh, I, I, it's like a who's who list that he met. Um, and uh, he was talking about that in the podcast today, but he'll tell us that in person on Sunday and quite possibly because uh, he's got the Helix as well. Maybe we can get him uh, plugged into an interface, into his computer through the Helix and he can send me some good audio. And if he wants to do some jamming on the show, He's more than welcome to do that as well, too. Uh, Rich, uh, I'd love to have you do that as well. We'll talk about that uh, leading up to the show. So, yeah. So, Mrs. Smith uh, and her ever-elusive uh, uh, search for her cat, Carlisle. It's quite... It's You just got to check this out. I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir here. I'm sure most people have already seen her um, and the memes that are out there on the internet. But if you haven't, look her up and then come and see us tomorrow night. And you'll want to tune in live for this because if you get a chance to ask her a question live tomorrow... It's going to be really cool because you're not just going to get a stock, yeah, playing guitar is fun uh, answer. You're, you're going to get a customized answer from her that's just going to, you're going to, you're going to laugh your butt off. It's going to be amazing. So double header show. All right. So there we go. So Mike Francis brought that up. So thank you, Mike. And that's good because uh, that gave me the mental note to talk about the show tomorrow night. Um, okay. So let me see here. Rich Antonelli says, hey, he's seen hey, the other guys here. Uh, Rob Ashby says, yeah, I wish I was born rich instead of good looking. Uh, but I think I got uh, screened there too. <laughs> a nice one. That's a good one. Um, and yes, and exactly. Mike Francis is in share for everyone. It helps get the word for their channels. Exactly. Uh, let me see here. Um, I appreciate that, Mike. And Mike, you're a real trooper for that. You really help out a lot with the sharing and it means a lot. And I don't mean to put anyone else under the microscope. If it, you know, I'm not saying you have to. It just it does help, and I appreciate it immensely. Um, Rob says, Eric, you do an amazing job. Love the show. Whenever I get a chance to tune in, thank you. I appreciate that. And that's the thing. You, no one can always catch every single show live. Um, and if some some of the things I do, you can easily watch back when they're uh, like a replay. And it's not one of those demanding things where you have to be tuning in live. Uh, but the live factor is cool, especially when there's guests you want to ask them a question. Uh, let me see here. Um, Bruce says, congrats on 5150 plus subs. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Um, uh, 28 tracks for 99 cents. Tony Dustin says, yeah, talking about the old, uh, Columbia house and, uh, Columbia record clubs. It was called Columbia house here in Canada. I'm sure probably the same thing in the States as well too. Um, R2, R3, Locknet says, uh, what's up, Bruce? I'm late here. Um, what did I miss? Nothing really much, uh, so far. Unboxing of the Line 6 Helix of Floor Unit. Uh, so we took a look at that and, um, wowed by it immensely. It's going to be, uh, hooked. Oh, there we go. Good. We got the link. Uh, Poison Ivy put in the l6gear.com. Thank you, Poison. I appreciate that. I was pretty sure I was right on that, but I never like to promise if I can't guarantee something and I hadn't had a chance to pull up the website. So there we go. Uh, let me see. Yes, Bruce says, thanks for the link for Poison there. David Ennis saying, hey, Bruce. Uh, what else have I missed here? I don't want to scroll too fast. Jared Frost is here. Jared. Jared is now the proud owner of a cool guitar that was featured here on EVH Gear TV. I had Jim Reed on, the owner and CEO of Stuart Guitar Company out of Dallas. Um, and you've probably seen me playing the guitar with, um, it's a travel guitar, the Stowaway, and it's headless. It looks like a Steinberger, it looks like a Stratocaster style guitar with, uh, with no headstock. Um, two bolts, uh, th- like thumb screws, I should say, on the back of the uh, plate, the neck plate. Boom, boom, boom. You take the, the guitar, it folds down into a carry-on, not much bigger than a 12-inch pizza. You know, it's it's pretty cool. So Jared saw me uh, demoing that guitar leading up to the show. There was an unboxing of the guitar. There was a demo of a couple nights later. And then about a week or so later, I had um, Jim Reed on, and we got to a little bit of history on the company. And um, it goes to show that, you know, some sometimes these shows do influence people's um, product decisions. Jared and I are both from the Van Halen School of Rock. You know, we you've, uh, a lot of you know Jared, but you'll see he's got all the uh, Wolf Gangs, a lot of them, cool Stripe Series guitars as well too, like myself. Um, but it's something must have, uh, you know, sparked his interest on that guitar, and I was very happy to see him make a purchase through the company by seeing it on the show here. It's, a, it's you know, it's a very warm, rewarding feeling that, you know, when you talk like an uh, like a me, <laughs> just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk for hours sometimes, um, and don't take a break and never shut up. That sometimes it's for a good reason. So cool. Long story short, Jared, I hope you uh, 
uh, you enjoy that guitar. And they, I heard a thing on the radio the other day. They, the disc jockey was saying, um, um, when someone says, long story short, you know it's never a, lo- <laughs> a short story. But that's me, right? Jaw with Beak Tears here saying, yellow. Um, let me see here. Uh, Don Shepard says, hey. Um, Dev Halen just bought a EVH standard silver burst, and I love it. I recommend it to everyone. And there you go. I'm not gonna, I don't want to take credit for that, but I'm going to take credit for that because he was asking me, he was looking at some other guitars and they, they weren't exactly the, um, the EVH brand, we'll say. And price was close, was very close, maybe within a couple hundred dollars cheaper. And I, and I mentioned to him, I said, don't please, if just wait, don't, don't get that one, get this. And I sent him a couple of links and, you know, he didn't buy the exact one I sent him, which, you know, I, I don't care about that, but he bought the, the same model and, um, you know, very affordable price, and he's got authorized EVH and very, very, very good quality. So I'm very, very happy for you. And I think you bought the Red D Tuna, and I think that's what you told me. And you were having some trouble with it the other day, so I told him, I sent him a link to Adam Reaver's video from FU Tone. And um, I think he got uh, all set up. I mean, Adam's a pro on that. And uh, anybody, if you ever have any trouble with any upgrades or anything like that too, contact me first. And um, if I can steer you in the right direction, I will. And if I can't answer the questions, I'll direct you to Adam as well, too, uh, at FU Tone. As long as you're purchasing the products from him or any of his authorized resellers, uh, he's he's uh, more than willing to help. Maybe it's, it may, may not be like an immediate email back, but he's always there to assist. He's been very good uh, to, to me here and to everyone that participates through the EVH Gear TV circle. Uh, let me see here. So yes, congrats on that guitar, man. I'm really happy for you. And I like the name too, Dev Halen. I remember you mentioned on Facebook, if you started the band, that's what you'd call it. Uh, cause Devin, right? Uh, so I, I think that's great. Um, uh, Google line six, Chad, oh, I was saying Google line six gear, Chad Boston, and it should pop up because someone was having a hard time clicking the link. And, um, um, if you can't find that, come over to the Facebook page later on tonight as well to facebook.com slash EVH gear TV. And I'll get you right there. Uh, but you just Google it like Poison Ivy saying it'll get you there. Uh, Row Camp is here saying, good evening, Eric. Great show. Thank you. David Ennis, hey, Jared Frost. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back a little bit here. One second. Um, one second here. I scrolled a little too fast. This happens to me all the time. Sorry about that. Um, okay, here's a good question. More, uh, more guitars. Eric Duke, uh, how do you compare the feel of the Helix versus Hot Tube Amp? Now, I, I don't mean to sound like a... Um, uh, an, an idiot here, hot tube amp. Is that a is that a brand of an amp, whatever or whatever? Or are you talking about mine? I'm not 100 sure. I feel silly for a- asking that question, but I'm not sure what you mean. Um, but I, if you're talking about the average tube amp, I like it better than my amps. Who did that? Stop that! People are paying me money here. That looks like the law figure. <laughs> Someone just did a super chat. Thank you, buddy. That looks like Jamie the law. Is it? Can I see that? It is. It's a law. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate that for a five dollar super chat. That is wicked. Um, let me go back because I know I missed some questions. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay, there is a row camp. And let me see here. Uh, sorry, guys. Christopher Mercer. Awesome show, Eric. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Christopher. I appreciate that immensely. Uh, Bobby Clipper. Hey, Eric and all. Um, we'll watch a rerun to see your unboxing. Yes, indeed. Please do. And it's going to be fired up here. I know Junior is just waiting upstairs. She's, Dad, get off the air so I can get on and play that thing. It's coming real soon. Trust me. Um, <laughs> Gasset Bullet says he's only 17 minutes behind the chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I need a I need a chat a chat person in here. Dev Halen says here's my best guitar in my collection. Uh, uh Chris Ferreira says always great guest. Less balance here. Saying uh, hey everyone, a little little late. Hey, I'm late on the chat too. So, um, uh, Gasset Bullet says Mr. Smith is uh, I can't read that from I can't read that from here. Um, watched a video of Mrs. Smith tearing it up at NAMM this year. That's from Bruce, for sure. R2R3 says, uh, Mrs. Smith can tear it up. Kind of weird character, but excellent guitarist. When you get to know the character, um, you will you will love it. And yes, I have to answer a yes to this here. Uh, yes, indeed. It sounds like my beautiful better half is going to be retiring probably momentarily for the evening, so I want to... I'll give her details for tomorrow. And I'm going to I'm gonna pause here for a second. This show would not happen without that woman. Um, she she does everything for this show. Um, she she supports me. She pushes me. She encourages me. Um, the greatest woman ever. And fortunately, I work from home now 24-7, and it's great to be here with her and the boy 24-7, and I absolutely love it. So I just had to get off track for a second and, and give credit where credit is due. 
Um, so yes, she was asking if there's a show is at what time tomorrow. Um, so she knows and everything. So 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. And uh, Poison Ivy is going to try to see a few minutes of Mrs. Smith because she's going to be hilarious. Um, but she won't be able to catch the whole thing. Um, Spence Oz says, I saw Mrs. Smith at NAMM. It was quite the experience. Yeah, you were there, weren't you? Right, right. Uh, let me see here. Um, it's a duplicate for her YouTube channel. Um, let me see here. The law says... Uh, the feel is very authentic. Depending on how you set up a tube amp return with a real cab or using impulse responses will change the sound dramatically depending on which direction you go. That's very well said. That's and he's uh, Jamie's um, replying to more guitarists. And there's so many different ways you can run this thing. So, I mean, whether you're just going to go headphones, if you're practicing at home or in a hotel room, whatever, uh, if you want to use it in conjunction uh, with a tube amp, a solid state amplifier, you want to run pedals through the loop of the Helix, run through this. There's just so many things you can do. There's no real one stock scenario. And that's why if you join some of these Facebook groups, like we we're talking about earlier tonight, you're going to find a lot of times, you know, a lot of us, uh, we're surprised sometimes. Oh, that's what you're doing with it. You're like, whoa, that's just cool. I never heard of doing that before. Um, people running electric violins for these things, um, all kinds of crazy configurations. So, uh, so Jamie nailed that right on the head saying it depends on what direction you want to go. I always say is, uh, the only limitation is your imagination. It's like a canvas. It's a blank canvas and wherever you want to go, you can pretty much do it. You know, you get up in the morning, you feel like an old, uh, you know, uh, Dan Electro sound through a, a, a really fuzzy, fuzzy, uh, speaker could do it you want a blown out marshall eddie van halen tone a you know whatever mess of boogie uh, b whatever you can do it it's just amazing uh let me see here mike francis looking forward to watching tomorrow send me all the links eric and poison i'll share as much as possible i can across multiple uh social platforms we will for sure thank you guaranteed um uh and uh, gas bullet says i'm excited tell mrs uh, uh smith that gas and bullet says meow we'll do for sure and we'll find out from her if she's found carlisle yet um, and yes, Mike, I agree with Mike says, Rich is an awesome, uh, rocker dad, uh, uh, respect. I agree with that. Great podcast. Um, okay. So yeah. And, um, Spence is asking about, uh, the 5150 contest and he's pr making his predictions and I'm going to be talking about that in a moment and you'll be surprised. It may, it may not be what everyone's thinking, um, but there's going to be very, very, like it's a little different this time around. Um, it's going to be different. And I'm going to tell you about that in a second, what that's going to include. Uh, Rich Antonetti says, thank you. I'll be happy to get the Helix going on something great. So he's going to play. Um, let me see. Jared says, Jared Frost says, I had a Line 6 10 watt practice amp and it sounds great. Um, yes. And Gasbolt says, make sure you do a live show reminder in advance. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll pop something up on the YouTube a couple hours in advance and remind people to tune in at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Jeff Alexander, man, it's good to see you, dude. Says, uh, hey, Eric, how are you? I'm doing good. That's my Canadian counterpart friend here over on the West Coast. So I've got West Coast Canada and I've got East Coast Canada here tonight. And I'm kind of almost somewhat middle, dead center. Doing good, my friend. I hope you're safe out your way and the weather isn't too bad or rain and um, uh, flooding. Hopefully not. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Zach Song says, Eric and Junior, check out uh, on YouTube, Aiden Jacobs. Okay, I will do that. I will do that for sure. Thank you for the uh, uh, recommendation. Uh, let me see here. Um, okay, what? Dude, did you just do that again? Or is that an old one? Don't stop doing that. <laughs> stop giving me money. <laughs> the law. Thank you. Thank you. He says, drop some likes on this video. Thank you. I appreciate that. I got checks in the mail for you, buddy. Um, I appreciate that. That is very, very kind of you. Uh, let me see here. Uh, so yeah, the time tomorrow, 9 PM. Um, yeah, Mrs. Smith has some, some big hands. I have large hands and I think Mrs. Smith has larger hands than I do. Um, so I'm kind of going all over the place here as well. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, Jack Tar says an Eric and Eric Jr. jam would be awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. I guarantee we'll do that for sure. And thank you for that recommendation there, Zach. We'll look up uh, that uh, artist there as well, too. Um, 12th Fret says, who's excited for the new Wolfgang special finishes? Excited to see the Stealth Black with Brass Block preloaded. Um, yes, I'm excited for all those new guitars um, for sure. And uh, let me see here. Definitely, definitely for sure. Where are we at here? All right, so Poison's heading out, uh, getting some rest. Let me see here. All right. A lot of people, Rob Ashby, he's got to get up for 4.30. Yeah, he works uh, in security and things like that. So early morning riser. Terry's, uh, is Terry's here? Is it G's? What is it? G's? 
Carrie's G G and G. And I always get that wrong. I need I need big glasses or a bigger monitor. Just tuned in, and gave you a thumbs up. Thank you. Appreciate that. And Jeff says getting better, so that's good. Um, Mississippi Trav- Treasure Hunter says love the Mike Portner interview you did was awesome. Second time listener. Thank you. Nice to have you. Nice to have you back. I really appreciate that. Gas and Bullet says there is a hell of a story about Carlisle. I found him and messaged her. Ask her about that. Okay, <laughs> very cool. All right. Um, more guitarists is very cool with a lot. Thanks much. And Rob Ashby's heading out. So, all right, we're going to talk about the contest now. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to make it very, very, um, I'm, what am I doing here? I'm kind of getting sidetracked. I'm getting text messages and I'm getting this going on at the same time. Just one second. Uh, one second. One second. Oh, Okay. So if she's saying goodnight to Rob, she's still here. That's good. We still have her. So have uh, Poison Ivy here for a little bit, which is great. So we're good on that. And there's a delay, which she's hearing uh, and what you're hearing as well, too. It takes probably about a 30-second delay. So here's the contest. I'm not going to say when it's going to happen. It's going to be in the coming days, okay? Coming days. And I'm not going to say when it's going to start. So that's n- rule number one, subscribe to the channel. So you will get those notifications. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then I'm going to do a video. And somewhere in one of those videos, I'm going to say, all right, contest begins now. And it's going to be commenting on, on a video. I'm going to make it real simple for you. As simple as simple can be. It's going to comment on that video. Say something preferably nice, <laughs> please. You know, but whatever. You know, I'm not saying, you know, you say I have to say I love you. If you don't, just make it make it polite. And remember, there's children on the channel as well, too. There's We have people under the uh, ages of 16. My boy is 12. Uh, he will be next month. And we get even younger kids watching the show as well, too. So please be respectful and clean. Just leave a comment on the video when I say it's time to go with the, with the video. And I'm going to let it run for, I'll let you know for how long. Not super long. And we're going to do random comment draws. Real simple. Leave a subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and I'll random draw. And thanks to the very, very good advice of Poison Ivy, and uh, it's not, I'm not hanging her out to dry by, by saying this because I, I can still veto what she says, even though uh, I may hear about it. Um, I still still could veto that. I hold veto power for the show a little bit, but I love, which, I love her idea, and um, I'm going with it. Um, it's her idea to don't give everything away in one lump sum. Give it away, and so we're going to random comment, prize one. Random comment on the same video, prize two, prize three, prize four, and so on, okay? So it's going to be several prizes. And I like that idea. I love the idea because as much as I love contests on the channel, this is probably about the third one I've done now, only one person can be happy. It's like one person that's happy and a whole lot of unhappy people. I know there's still going to be some unhappy people, but even the ones that won't win, you know, there's always a winner and then there's a loser. Um, there's always more chances for you here. I promise you. That's one thing you've known. I've only been doing this for two years and giving away some pretty crazy stuff. So there's always going to be more. So uh, one comment only, though, folks. That's a very good point. Yes, one comment only. Uh, if there's if there's duplicate comments, I'm just going to randomly delete. Your, like, if you if you comment three times, I'm going to delete two of your comments. It's, it has to be one comment. And I know sometimes error can happen, and you might think you submitted it and you'll submit it again, and it could be the same comment twice. I will police that, and I will delete the second comment, so it's not going to give you any extra chances. So just one comment, um, and that's what we're going to do. That's going to be really, really simple. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea. I don't have everything here at my fingertips at the moment. Things are coming in steadily every day. So one of the, uh, since we did an unboxing today of Line 6, why don't we grab that since we're over here. This, uh, this comes directly from Line 6. The Relay G10 Wireless Guitar Freedom uh, uh, Guitar Wireless System. So no more cables. Easy to use as a cable. Your guitar is always ready to go. What's really cool about this, you know, your typical quarter-inch jack for your guitar, um, st- it stays right inside the, the charger. So when you're not using it, you stick it inside the charger. When you're ready to go, you plug it into your guitar, and you're ready to go. I'll give you a little bit of information on this thing here. The Relay G10, always ready to play. Metal transmitter with rechargeable 8-hour battery. Simple, elegant receiver with built-in recharger and automatic setup. Wireless freedom, no setup required. True plug-and-play. No menus, settings, or switches. So, you know, Line 6 does make some other wireless products as well, too, where you can you can customize until, you know, the, you're, you're fully satisfied. If you want that, that's cool as well, too. Some people just want to plug and play. That's what this is. To continue on with it, automatically selects the best wireless channels. 
So while you're on one channel, if it's it'll kind of scan without losing the signal that you're on, and it's like, oh, I found a better signal. I'm going to automatically switch to that. You don't even notice it. No dropout. Ready to play where you are. Quarter inch and XLR outputs. The perfect cable replacement for every guitarist. No more cables. You know, you get the whole deal. No batteries to charge, which I love that. And another thing, too, with batteries, like I've got an old Nady, believe it or not, an old Nady 201 sitting over there that still actually still works. But I broke the battery door on it so many times. It's been duct taped. I've replaced the um, the 9-volt wiring inside there that hooks up to a 9-volt battery. So the fact that you don't have to have a battery is I'm sold on one of those. So that's, that's awesome. Up to 8 hours of playing time per charge and 200 hours of standby. So... There you go. That's going to be one of the prizes, and I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to put them in any particular order. I'm not going to favor one over the other, and it's just going to be random comments. And it doesn't matter if it's you know uh, it's it's not a, a sob story like I'd like to win because of this. I'm not going to judge the comments. I'm not going to look for all oh, this was a great comment. This guy said the nicest things. It's going to be no criteria as far as that. It just has to be a comment, a like on the video, and a subscription to the channel. So that's one. Uh, another thing that's coming in is a Daddario um, uh, floor tuner. We're really, you've seen it on my pedal board. Um, I can't switch to the camera right now. You can't actually see it back right now, but it's the real nice. It uh, looks almost like an iPhone type of deal. It's really, really nice as far as the size of it. All glass on the top. Uh, very, very accurate. Chromatic tuner. That's coming in from Daddario. From Pedal Snake, we're going to have, uh, once again, a $100 um, gift certificate towards Pedal Snake to use on uh, towards a snake. Um, you know, you can't use it to like buy something for 50 bucks and get 50 bucks cash back. It's $100, but it's going to, it's one of those things where 100 bucks is going to go a long ways. And Pedal Snake, trust me, even if you're using it with the Line 6 products, it is a godsend, especially now with the HX. I know Rich here in the chat, he's talking to Jody. Excuse me. I turned him on to Jody at uh, Pedal Snake. And um, looking at getting a snake to uh, send send some returns to the HX effects, even looking at voltage solutions to send um, a voltage to the snake to the HX. So Pe Pedal Snake has been with me since probably my longest running product endorsement, and I will be with them probably for the rest of my my playing life. As long as they're in business and as long as I'm playing guitar, I will be with Pedal Snake. Pedalsnake.com. Check them out, please. Uh, so there's going to be a hundred dollar gift certificate from that. Uh, we're going, some of the products I showed you a while back from Box King overseas. There's a, a, a portable power bank. It's a, it actually, you, you plug it in and charge it, and it'll charge your pedals for like up to eight hours or 10 hours of playing time. And you can also use it to charge your mobile devices and things like that as well, too. So very, very cool product, plus a whole bunch of pedal patch cables are coming from them as well, too. Um, and there's going to be more stuff coming as well. I'm just waiting for some things to arrive. And then there's these are pretty cool, too. Check this out. I've got two of these to give away. Now, one is going to be given away on YouTube, and I'm going to do one over on Instagram as a secondary contest after the uh, YouTube contest is over. So if you lose over on YouTube, there's a chance over on Instagram. And I know not everyone's on Instagram, and I know not everyone's on Facebook and these things, but, you know, it's there's common denominators, right? So this is from Rode, and Rode is a big supporter of the show, a sponsor of the show. Rode has been with me since probably um, about uh, two-thirds of the way, uh, or I don't know, uh, almost two years ago anyway it's almost two years ago they've been with the show this is the Rode NT1 and AI1 studio kit complete kit this retails for almost 500 bucks US and I actually use one here and I'm not using it for through the Macintosh that I'm uh, broadcasting to uh, YouTube tonight but the PC which you can just off to my right sometimes you see here uh, it's PC obviously Mac here I've got the AI1 kit underneath here and that's what I'm actually using it for at the moment is running back out as the uh, audio interface to go from the PC to my mixer. So you can use it as that as well too. But what you get in the kit, you get the AI1 interface, which has phantom power. Okay. And phantom power will po obviously, for those that don't know what that means, it powers a condenser microphone. Um, and it has a built-in headphone amplifier, which is crazy, crazy loud and crazy clean. A lot of times people are using some of these interfaces where they can only get so loud. And even when you get to the, the maybe about the two o'clock position, it's just distorting like crazy because you've you maxed out the gain in the headroom of the amplifier um it's it's phenomenal now road sent me a, um a, a, one of their sister companies called apex they sent me um it, it's called the head pod 4 it's a headphone preamp and i would i don't know this for a fact i don't know if they worked with the apex line to make the headphone amp in here i'm not saying they do no clue but it sounds similar absolutely amazing quality so the headphone amp is great just for jamming. Now, here's another thing, too. There's no reason why you couldn't run. And I haven't confirmed this with the Line 6 team yet. I'm not sure that it's 100% possible. I'm, I'm going to say it's 99% sure you can because this you can run a microphone input, 
or a guitar input into it as well too. And as long as you're not driving the signal too hot, it'll let you know it'll go green, green, yellow, and red. You could run that into your computer to use with the Helix native uh, software that I was talking about earlier as well too. So this could be a good interface for that. The fact that the interface, it gives you the shock mount, a professional shock mount with a pop filter, which is a metal pop filter. And the microphone is the NT1. And that's the mic I used to use on here all the time. And uh, the only reason I'm not using this one anymore here is this is this is a studio condenser microphone. And if I'm sitting here like snapping my fingers over here or I'm clicking on my keyboard, the condenser microphone can pick a lot of that up. I don't necessarily like the mic I'm speaking in right now any better than the NT1 or the NT1 any better than this one, but this is a dynamic microphone, more like what you'd see like on a stage, you know, when singers are using it on stage. So there's not, you're not getting drum cymbals and everything bleeding through. That's why I chose that microphone here. But a phenomenal microphone. I've got two packs of these to go. And like I said, a retail price of around almost 500 bucks. I think about 479 if you look them up on sweetwater.com or BH Photo. Uh, dot com as well too that's a couple of the places i recommend uh just and i don't get any kickbacks from those people for saying that um but they're they're the pr the better places to buy as far as i'm concerned you can look that up 50 year anniversary it's a great kit to shows you everything that comes inside so two of those and there will be more stuff as well too i'm not sure what all that is uh, at the moment but I'm going to be giving away a bunch of different things. There's nothing that you'll say per se that's a, because it's a 5150 doesn't mean it's a 5150 guitar or a 5150 amplifier. It's a 5150 sub celebration. It's going to be things that you can really use, enjoy, and have some fun. So that is the notification on the contest. So be sure you're subscribed. And I'm just going to read off the rest of the chat here, okay? And I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your evening here on Thursday and get ready for a nice weekend. Let me see if I've missed anything here that I haven't addressed. Uh, okay, one second here. Let me see. Glasses, uh, LASIK eye surgery or a larger computer monitors. But yes, I need that huge. As a matter of fact, I just got an adapter in for an HDMI coupler that I needed for the studio. It's uh, I have a studio on the other side of the wall of this in another room. That's I've had to move the photography and uh, video shoot studio out of here because I've outgrown this room. It's uh, I outgrew this room. <laughs> As the channel grew, I outgrew this room in, in pretty quick uh uh, time here. So all my photography video stuff is in the other room. And because my vision is horrible and I'm starting to film videos for people and I'm sometimes I'm looking back, I'm like, Oh my God, the focus is horrible. You know, I've been able to pull some miracles uh, and the customer hasn't complained, but I see the focus when I watch back on a good screen and I'm like, Oh man. So now I'm running to a 56 inch um, LCD monitor on the other that a 56 LCD monitor is now my pull focus monitor. So it's pretty nice to have a monitor that size for pull focus. So uh, I needed that adapter, but I could really use that. I'm thinking about getting a big, big, big monitor here. I've got three 29-inch uh, monitors. Actually, these are, what are they, 32-inch 30, for the Mac right now. And that's large, but where I'm away from the screen here, it's still far enough that I still can't read very well. So uh, I need some uh, larger uh, screens here, I think. Uh, let me see here. Jeff says, I want to try the new 5150 50 50 50-watt 6L6. Uh, they just released that NAM to 2018 with a new volume knob, independent knob for each. Yeah, the code centric knob, I think they call it, very similar to what I have on the uh, Lunchbox too. So uh, you can, uh, yeah, you you have separate volume and gain for each channel, which has uh, been requested by a lot of people, and it's I, I believe it's a, a great asset for sure. Um, let me see here, uh, Gas Bullets, get your sponsors kick down good giveaway prizes. Uh, have them drop shift the prizes to the winners. Yes, in some cases that will be the uh, next contest around. I is, trust me, you're not the first person who said that as well. Too, we'll have people ship stuff out to um, to the winners, and I'll provide the uh, the sponsors and the people I work with the addresses and things like that. And it was, certainly it, it makes it easier and everything, you know, better tracking and all that kind of stuff as well too. But you'll see, you'll probably see that in some of the next uh, contests. Uh, well, uh, Spencer, will you announce the details on a live stream or make it a separate video? That's a good question. Um, let me see. I haven't actually thought of that yet as, how, as far as the announcement. I think because, you know, with, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do another video at the end after the fact and I'll, I'll let everyone know and I'll comment on the video where everyone was commenting. I'll, I'll say, okay, comments are now closed. Whatever that time may be. It won't run for a long time. It'll probably run for a couple weeks or something of that nature. And then I'll comment on there, say comments are closed, contest is now done. And then once I go to do the live video, whether it's a live one or whatever, I'll make it live for you. I'll grab the link that you guys can tune in and watch and I'll comment on that exact the previous contest video or the whatever where everyone was commenting. And you'll have a link that you can tune in and watch that and get your answer who won and congratulate people and maybe you find out that you're the winner, which would be great as well too. I look forward to it. And trust me, not everyone can be winners. I wish I had a million products I could give you guys, 
but there's only at the end of the day, there's only so much that can go around. Right. So I wish I had one prize for everybody, but maybe over the course of the next three or four or five years, everyone that's here watching right now will have won something on the show, maybe even multiple times. That'd be great. That's a great problem to have, isn't it? Uh, let me see here. Chris Jones, have I told Poison how awesome she is today? She is. She is for sure. Awesome. Wireless. Yes, Mike, for sure. I know you're a big fan of the Line 6 product for sure. Let me see here. Uh, <laughs> Gas and Bullet says, unfortunately, all this will do is we'll make my guitar playing crap wirelessly instead of <laughs> instead of playing like crap on the wire. No, don't be so hard on yourself, man. I'm sure, I'm sure it is great. You're underestimating your own talent, I'm sure. Uh, Steve Segura says, sweet. Uh, Chris Jones says, brownie points, boys. We're almost to the end of the chat here. Uh, Terry says, uh, you should give away bottles of eth uh, authentic Canadian maple syrup for those not in Canada to enjoy some Canadians. Can it's Canadiana. That's a pretty cool idea. That's a very cool idea. We've got some friends down in the States. We've been thinking about doing a little trade, um, kind of a Canada care package for a USA care package. We talked with some of our like, uh, uh, Will uh, from over... Um, uh, from from the Guitar News Network, we we're talking about some candies and chocolate bars and things like that that you just can't get in the United States and some, and they, th things they've never heard of, things we haven't heard of, and just some little nice um, Canadian you know themed things. So we want to we want to trade a little bit, and we're going to do that sometime in the near future as well. But I like the idea of the maple syrup. I'm not going to ramble much longer. I know people have an evening. Some people were were booking home to watch the show, and probably haven't even had supper yet. So I don't want to keep waste any more of people's times. Uh, but I like that idea. Good one. Um, <laughs> guitar Gas and Blood says I need to pluck any string and sound like a virtuoso pedal. That'd be cool. A virtuoso pedal, hit one note and go. Uh, Rich Hanson says can't wait for your pedal snake. Rich, when you get it, and anyone else that looks and get into the pedal snake, it's going to be as, as important to you um, in a very short time as your guitar itself. I've said that to Jody, and that's been my mission statement with pedal snake. Anytime I give a testimonial on the product, it's as important to me as my guitar. And if I was missing my pedal snake at a gig, I could still get by with guitar cables, a bunch of them, but I would be off my game. I would be like not playing my best because I'm I'm mad at myself for losing that. It's vital. It's clean. Um, through when I'm using my tube amplifiers and I'm using uh, the, the big pedal board, which is behind me, you can see a little bit of it. When I'm using that big pedal board, I used to use a Boss noise suppressor in the loop. I had such a high gain hiss from all these cables and, and wall warts sitting at my pedal board. You get all your voltage off of your off of your board and, and all of the back line. It's just amazing. You'll, you'll be able to get rid of a lot of, uh, a lot of noise, a lot of hiss, your neatness. So yes, I can't say enough about them. Uh, let me see here. What does uh, Jamie say? He says, you should ask Futon for a few bottles of the Eddie Ojeda hot sauce. I bought a bottle of mango habanero, and it's amazing. Yeah, he was just actually with um, with those guys today, Eddie, and over, they were going over to the zoo in um, uh, Music Zoo over in New York. So that's cool. I should, uh, yeah, I should talk to him about that. Uh, let me see here. That Yeah, for a giveaway. Yeah, for a giveaway. No, I'm going to keep it for some of my stuff here. No, of course, I'll give it away. Uh, great prizes, Neil Banbury says. Thank you, Neil. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, um, AI Gaming saying uh, no 40th anniversary announcement from the band, but never write them off. That's one thing with Van Halen. Please, if you hang in there for Van Halen, never say never when it comes to Van Halen. They they tend to be n no news is good news with Van Halen. That's one thing I can say about the band. No news is good news. This is because they're not putting anything out. I mean, they could they could come out right now and say, okay, we're retired. And then, then we're all disappointed. No news is good, no, is good news, I think, when it comes to Van Halen. And if anything, all I can say is, I know, I know, I know this. I know Eddie's busy right now. I'm not gonna say what he's doing because I don't actually know he's busy. I know he's busy. That's all I'm gonna say on that. George Lopez was on the show a while back. Um, love him or dis dislike him. I like George Lopez. I think he's cool. He, I asked him. I said, I know you know some things. You know, because Eddie has conversations with him. I'm not asking you to divulge anything um, that you don't want to divulge. So basically, you, you can answer this question as delicately as you would like. Is there something that Van Halen fans would be uh, worth, worthwhile hanging on for for 2018, you know, to be s satisfied or be happy about? And he says, I could confidently say, I don't want to quote him because I don't, I, you'd have to go back and watch the video with George. But he said something along the lines of, I think it's worthwhile for the fans to hang on for 2018. So... It could be something extremely simple or it could be something 
Not so much. It could be something as simple as, uh, you know, a musical release of a box set or something. I have no clue. I have no second, I have no knowledge. And I'm being 100% honest with that. I swear on a stack of whatever kind of religious devi- uh, uh, paraphernalia you can put in front of me, I will swear on it. I do not know. But I'm just as optimistic as the next person for something to happen. So there we go. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Mike Francis, wow, even more awesome. Gas and Bullets, uh, Road Mike, I can talk and sing. Need, need. Yeah, you'll, you'll love it. Um, you know me. I'm like Mr. Road here in the house. It's like Mr. EVH stuff and Mr. Road. I love Road products. Cannot say enough about them. There's so many Road products in the house here, and they're used religiously. Love them. Um, never will use another microphone as far as in the recording as in my, in my studio ever. Uh, let me see here. Get Eddie put something on his Instagram. Okay, I didn't see that. Uh, I'll check that out as well. And where did I leave off here? I'm going to try to wrap this up right now. I'm going to let everybody go because we're, we're running. We're running much later than I intended. I'm going, I could go forever. I just don't want to monopolize your time. It's all about you, not about me. Nice prizes from Spencer. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Mike Francis has a very cool road. And I have a very good relationship with road. I talk to them quite often. And I will reach out to them tonight. And I'll let people know that. I'll let the, my people know at road that you guys are appreciative and you and you are excited about that and that'll make them feel good as well too so awesome um very, i'm really happy to hear that uh scott Roos says um uh, that looks awesome i have one of the first microphones they put out years ago i can't remember the model though it might have been the nt1 or the nt1a the silver one possibly hard to say but uh, it's going to be a great mic you can use it for podcasting you can use it for studio like you can do just about everything with it record vocals really good for acoustic guitar uh there is a demo on the channel here, if you look it up, the, the kit is called the Rode NT, uh, the AI, uh, which stands for Audio Interface 1, whatever, NT, NT1 kit. So look for the demo on the channel, and I show how to record an acoustic guitar with it, and then using it for spoken dialogue like I'm doing right now. And it's absolutely awesome. Very, very cool. So you'll like it. Uh, NT1 looking good. Terry says, uh, sounds like a great giveaway celebration you'll be doing, uh, Eric. Great. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate that. That means a lot. It does. Because uh, I I want to make people happy, right? I want to give something away, and you always feel like you can't you can't make everyone happy, and and that is a fact in today's world. I could give away a guitar, and it could be green, and someone's like, oh, you don't have a blue one. It's like I have a green one. You know, you just can't make everyone happy. But um, I want to say that I'm very appreciative to the people that first of all, you people here that are watching, guys and girls in the chat, that support the channel by coming and watching every single week and sharing with content and things like that. I appreciate that. I greatly and equally support the, or I mean, appreciate the support from the people uh, that continue to, you know, give back to the show here as well too. Like road, for example, with microphones line six, great, great. I cannot say I'm so happy that I met the line six family. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy I've met them. It's changed me as a musician by providing the wireless now for a guitar player. Awesome product. Awesome product that you will use. It's not something you're going to get and stick on your shelf. It's going to be something you're going to use. So these these people that just really see something in the show and they want to give something to the fans, I appreciate you so much. It goes right through me to the fans. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see here. Scott Roos says, uh, yeah, we talked about the microphone. I repeat myself a lot. Dan, uh, is it Car- Caravetta? Says Dan Caravetta says, Hey Eric, I'm a new subscriber. Great stuff, man. Thank you. Very nice to have you. Welcome aboard. Uh, make yourself at home. Uh, get yourself a drink. And everyone here will treat you very nicely. And we're, we're very happy to have you here. N- another uh, member of the family for our, our family gatherings. Wear glasses, buddy. I'm going to. I do have a prescription. I haven't had glasses in years. So we need we need an eye check here for the whole family. I know Poison needs some glasses. I'm going to get a prescription again. I need some some big glasses. <laughs> Uh, high output to uh, HDMI output to television, 60 inch, uh, no problem. Yeah, that's it will be pretty good. I'm close to that, 56, I think uh, the screen is there, so we'll be good. Uh, it would be nice to see a 50 watt Stealth 5153 release since the 100 watt is no longer in production. You never know. You never know. Summer Nam, it could be th- things. I haven't heard any rumblings or anything like that, so I don't know, but that'd be cool. Dinner bell is ringing for Spencer, so he must go. Looking forward to the contest, and that's the thing. I got to let you guys go because I know I'm holding you uh, back from some things. Rich Antonelli says, I'm out. Just set up a Facebook event for Sunday and sent you an invite. Hope to see everyone there. Great. I will share that as well. Thank you. Mystic Dreams is here. Hey, everyone, he says. Great to have you here. Uh, Will, Zach Long says, hey, Eric, I'll be watching tomorrow night after Robert Baker's live show. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I think he's going, uh, he goes early now, which is around 730 or something. And that's awesome. 
Uh, that's very, very cool. He has a great show. I love him to death. Uh, Poison Ivy says, thanks, everyone, for coming in. Hi, Ivy and Eric. That's okay. And uh, uh, Constance says, have a good night, Poison. Um, and let's see here. Insomniac, Matt is here. What did I miss? <laughs> Insomniac, you always come in at the last minute. I know, but this wasn't a scheduled one, so it's not your fault. Uh, I did an unboxing of the Line 6 Helix. Uh, floor unit, absolutely phenomenal. Have to go back and watch that. I talked a little bit about the show guests that are coming up with a lot of some funny backstory on one of the guests, Mrs. Smith. I talked about the contest that's going to be happening here right away. Uh, so that's all you missed. Nothing crazy, easy to rewind and, and skip through. And if you're watching on an iPad, you can tap, 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 and you can skip and you don't have to listen to me talk so long. Uh, Mississippi Treasure Hunter, what do you all do on the show? I saw the interview. Do you play guitar, etc.? Thanks. Yeah, I uh, I do play guitar a little bit. I've been known to play guitar. So thank you for asking. Uh, and I talk. Uh, Mike Francis says, I wish guys that the, I wish all the guys all the success with the channel. It's literally the best on YouTube. Thank you so much. Uh, that means a lot. Thank you so much. Mike Francis says, yes, Mississippi Air can shred. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Very nice. Uh, Jeff Wilson is here saying, great show tonight. Wife even watched tonight and loved it. Eric, thank you. Tell her thank you. That's awesome. An old uh, a high school friend, way back, man. And we just reconnected on Facebook, probably not more than a few months ago, earlier just before Christmas or so. And very nice, nice, uh, refreshing blast from the past. And happy to have you here, Jeff. Thank you. And tell her thank you, please. Uh, let me see here. Put on my gab, my fellow shredder. Uh, Don Shepard, great contest and prizes, Eric. Thank you, Don. I appreciate that. Looks like uh, the, the everyone here is very appreciative of the contest. Gas Bolt says, what's your email address? You can send an email to info at evhgeardiscussion.com. So it's info at evhgeardiscussion.com. Scott Roos uh, says, I impressed you pronounced my name, last name correctly. There, I'm, I'm surprised I did too. It's usually the ones that, that I, I get the ones usually that are very difficult, right? And it could be like Bob Jones and I'll be like Bob Jones. It's like, so I, I'm, I'm happy I got it right too. And Gatsby I greatly appreciate reading all comments. I try. I do try my best. I try. And I'm the first person to admit that I miss them sometimes. Not intentionally. It's uh, a lot of times I'll scroll and then it jumps. And I miss them. But thank you. Thank you for at least acknowledging the fact that I do try. And I do. Jeff Azar, my drummer brother from another mother, says, uh, just popped in for a hello. Keep up the great work, Eric. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very, very much. And Jeff, you have that open invitation. Anytime that your schedule... Uh, relax this for a little bit. I'd love to have you come back on. We'll talk about the old band days, talk about what you're doing now with work, with music, all that kind of stuff. Be a very informative show. Uh, I think fans would really enjoy having you. So listen, that is it. 846. I've kept you for too long. Contest coming. Subscribe. Uh, if you get a chance, look down below, right beneath this video right now. There's a share. Click on share and send it off to whatever networks that you can. Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of good stuff. Even email to a buddy that may be a guitar player or blah, blah, blah. Share the content as much as possible. The more the numbers grow, the more I get contests, the more I give stuff away. And we do repeat that stuff all the time. Every year we're going to keep repeating this stuff several times a year. Fun stuff ahead, I promise you. Tune in tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mrs. Smith, the cat lady, shred demon, uh, shred whatever, whatever you want to call her. Uh, going to be on the show tomorrow night. Going to rock, and we're going to take a night off, one day off. We're going to come back again on Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some great discussion with Rich Antonelli, Line 6 product demonstrations. We're going to talk about his band, uh, Bon Jovi Tribute Band, Bon Jersey, I believe. I hope I have that right. All kinds of other fun stuff. His Rocker Dad podcast. A lot of fun stuff. And coming up, March 18th, is the kickoff of my inaugural kickoff of the Helix Hour. Uh, TheHelixHour.com will take you to the, what you're watching right now to this channel. I've got a whole new look and layout for the show. It's going to be a 60-minute uh, program. We're going to be talking about how to get Eddie's Brown sound with the Helix product, how to get any kind of sound with the Helix uh, family of products. It's going to be fun. We're going to be having industry guests. I have Paul Heinmarsh. Heinmarsh. Is it Heinmarsh or Hinmarsh? Heinmarsh. I think it's Heinmarsh. I have, there again, there's that name pronunciation. It's kicking it off as my first guest, and I honestly don't think I could get a better one to start it off. It knows the product inside and out. does a lot of feature demos for Line 6. Uh, everything I've learned uh, from the onset was from him and then all through these other groups. So awesome, awesome stuff. So very, very cool. So helixhour.com, and the show is kicking off. March 18th, I think at 3 p.m. I got to double check that somewhere in that neighborhood. Everyone have a great night. See you tomorrow night. Thanks for putting up with my rambling for an hour and whatever it was. We will see you tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to turn it over to the outro here. We'll see you very soon. Thank you and good night. No, there, I'm still here. <laughs> I am now on Patreon. 
If you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what I do, then please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash evhgeartv. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric and I'm playing the Frankenstrat guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs.